Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Ashley, I'm a homeschooling mom to seven kids, ranging from 11 to six months. And we are a family that transitioned from public school to homeschool about um, three and a half years ago. So today I have, well, I have mentioned in other videos that um, my struggle um, with science is real. So trying to get a curriculum that I could incorporate all of their grade levels. So I have my oldest is a sixth grader and we're going down, this is currently, next year we'll be in seventh grade, um, and then going down to preschool and younger, but preschool, the one that I teach. Um, so my struggle has been finding something that I can get all of them interested in and be able to have activities and um, resources for all of them. So we started out, like I've mentioned in my other videos, um, with the Good and the Beautiful science units. I liked them. I liked the um, information, but I felt it wasn't as challenging for my older kid. Um, he never had a complaint about it. I just kind of felt like that when I was um, going over everything. So the only unit that we did was um, space. So I'm not gonna repeat that, but I am going to still do unit studies for science for this coming year. So I will have a seventh, a fourth, a first, a kinder, and my other kids are younger than pre-K. So my other three are younger than pre-K. So um, it won't really apply to them. Although my three-year-old, um, I'll try and give him some activities as well. But I wanted to go over the unit studies that I have finally picked out. And what I have done is I have used, I'm going to use the Good and the Beautiful, their um, science packs um, as a base. And um, so that I know the subject that I'm going to do, but I'm going to, this is kind of gonna be my less than open, and, my not so open and go um, curriculum pieces because I'm going to kind of pick and choose. I did start the bugs insect unit um, and we didn't finish it. So I have a lot of books from that, I might, continue on with that one um, at the beginning, but I'm not I'm not 100%. So I wanted to go over just the unit studies, the ideas that I have that I at least wrote down. And like I said, these were um, based off of the Good and the Beautiful units. So I will use that, but I'm going to piece together and bring in more um, resources from Teachers Pay Teachers, from books, um, half price books I've gotten quite a bit from. Amazon. Um, there is a website called Home, I believe it's Home Science Tools. I'll link it if I remember. HomeScienceTools.com and they have a, a variety of things there. They even have dissection um, kits to order, which I'll be doing later on. But um, I'm going to use that as a base and then pick and choose things, get worksheets, get activities. Um, I do use Pinterest a lot. So um, my unit studies, I'm just gonna name them off. These are what we're gonna be doing specifically for next year. We're going to be doing botany. Um, arthropods, I'm not 100%. I might kind of start over on that or I might pick up where we left off. We did about half of that unit when I kind of decided I don't know how I feel about this curriculum. Um, but again, now that, now that this will not be our only source um, and where I'm gonna be picking from other, other resources, um, it might be just fine. So I haven't quite decided on arthropods is a question mark. Uh, birds, they have a birds unit coming out um, soon. I don't think it's out already, but soon from the Good and the Beautiful. So that'll be the new unit um, that they have coming out. Um, so I will be doing that. Mammals, human body, marine biology, weather, geology, energy and electricity. And I probably will not do space again um, because my older kids already did that unit. 
So I probably will not do that one again unless they redo it. Um, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that. But also in their library on the Good and the Beautiful website, they have um, quite a bit, which I just ordered. I'm waiting for um, my mammals unit to come in. I just ordered that and I ordered books to go with that. So resources where you can get information for all of these science units. Um, like I said, half price books that were whatever um, used bookstore that you have around you. Um, Amazon is an excellent resource. Um, teachers pay teachers. There are uh, a, a huge amount of things on Pinterest. So what I'm gonna be doing is kind of putting this together and each time I put together a unit, I will do a video on it to show what all I have to work with and what all I decided to work with. Again, this will be ranging in ages from, or grade levels from seventh all the way down to pre-K. So I'm going to have a variety of things to work with so that we can all sit down and do it, but each kid can be doing something on their level. Um, my two older ones are pretty, pretty much on the same page when it comes to these kinds of things, um, science related. So I don't feel like they're gonna be too different, but obviously the jump from fourth to first and kinder is gonna be a bit different. Um, a lot of coloring, a lot of book reading. I do have um, sticker books. Um, I have that for the arthropods and I might actually show that, do a video on that to show you what it looks like and what I got for that um, this past year that we didn't quite finish. Um, just so many resources for these unit studies. So I will do a separate video on all of these as I put them together and piece them together. I'm not quite sure the order I'm gonna do them in, but I know unit studies for science are very popular and um, I wanna be able to give people kind of a look on how you can do that with multiple grades if you're not quite set on an exact curriculum and you don't wanna just use one curriculum. Um, Cause that's how I felt. I felt like I just needed a little bit more and a little bit more challenge for my, for my older kids. So let me know if you have any luck with finding um, good science unit resources other than the ones that I've mentioned. Um, I know there's a bunch of other websites. I will try and think of them. And hopefully when I do the unit study videos, each one specifically, I will have more information on where I, I um, you know, other resources that I pulled from. Um, let me know if you have any questions or any comments or any suggestions, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.